Hi, I'm Susan Taylor with Scripps Health in San Diego, California. The number of COVID cases is on the rise with the highly contagious Delta variant. Your health and safety are our number one priority at Scripps. If you haven't received the COVID-19 vaccine yet, we encourage you to get your vaccine wherever possible and as soon as possible. Appointments for the COVID vaccine can be made through myscripts.org or by calling 858 554-7439. What do you need to know about the vaccines? Joining us is Dr. Mark Shalata. He is a family medicine physician at Scripps Clinic in Rancho Bernardo, California. He is also a member of the Scripps Vaccine Advisory Committee. Dr. Shalata, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. The COVID-19 vaccine, is it safe? A short answer, yes, it is absolutely safe. Again, people we're wondering how did this get uh, rolled out so quickly? Were corners cut? And no, corners were not cut. The, the science was the same and the scientific process. It's just that um, with government funding, uh, subsidies, or at least payment guarantees that, and the technology that they were able to roll this out. And how does the vaccine work? So basically it's creating immunity to the disease without giving you the disease. So if you get an injection, it, it creates this memory immune response. So if ever in the future, you're exposed to the disease, you are, your body has a way to combat that. Again, you cannot get COVID disease from the vaccine. Um, what are the side effects of the vaccines? So it's pretty common to get your body aches, uh, headaches, feeling fatigued, those are common reactions, but it's important to know that that it means that your body is doing what it's supposed to do. It's ramping up its immune response. So even though it may not feel that great while you're having those, um, that's actually a good thing. And what if you received uh, another vaccine, like for example, the shingles vaccine or the flu vaccine, um, can you still get the COVID vaccine? Yes, you, you can get the vaccine, but the recommendation is to have at least 14 days in between vaccines. So if you got shingles vaccine first, you want to wait at least 14 days before getting the COVID vaccine and vice versa. Uh, can you get the COVID vaccine if you are pregnant or breastfeeding? So even though the, the studies were not designed for this, some women did get pregnant during the studies and did just fine. And there's really no scientific reason why these vaccines would be harmful to pregnant mother or breastfeeding. So even the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology said it is okay to give. Do you, um, do you have to get both the shots? Because the vaccines that are available right now, there's two shots. One you get 21 days later, the other one you get 28 days later. So it, it is key to get both. I mean, you may have heard that <clears throat> after you get one shot, you get 50% immunity or 80 or 90 or higher even. But it's important to note that, that that wanes pretty quickly. Once you get that second shot, that's where you really get the memory and then you get that 95% plus immunity. So the current vaccines that are out are two shots. If you get the, the first shot of one particular type of COVID vaccine, do you have to go back and get that exact same one or can you take a second shot from a different manufacturer? you cannot mix and match. If you start with one manufacturer's vaccine, you have to end with that because they, they were not studied otherwise. How much does the COVID-19 vaccine cost? So the federal government will cover the cost of the vaccine. If there's any administration fees, then uh, insurance companies will cover that. So there's no out-of-pocket cost to any patients. And what if you're at high risk? Uh, let's say you have an underlying uh, medical condition. Should you still get the vaccine? The only contraindication, the only reason why you can't get this vaccine is if you have an allergy to one of its components. Now, if you have like allergies to other things like medications, foods, bee stings, whatever, it is still okay to get the vaccine. It's just an allergy to a specific con component in the vaccine. And that information is uh, available on the CDC website. What if you are immunocompromised or somebody in your house is immunocompromised? Can you still get the vaccine? Absolutely. It is okay to get the vaccine. 
if you yourself have any immunocompromising condition. So since it does not cause COVID disease, that's totally fine. And if someone at home is immunocompromised, since you're not getting the disease, you cannot transfer COVID disease to anybody at home as well. So it is okay to get the vaccine. If someone has had COVID-19, should they still get the vaccine? Yes, they, they should, but they do have a 90 day window since once you get the disease, you're, you're considered immune for at least 90 days. So the CDC recommends to hold off for about 90 days before getting the vaccine. Are there any circumstances where somebody should not get the COVID-19 vaccine? So if they have a direct allergy to one of the components, which again can be found on the CDC website, that's, that's one instance. Or if you've had treatment for COVID, one of the infusions where you're in, you're in an infusion center for an hour with those monoclonal antibodies, if you have one of those, then the CDC recommends to wait 90 days. Now, again, that's not going to be very common, but uh, basically you're counteracting if you get it uh, too soon. So wait the 90 days. Any final thoughts, doctor? I think things are just going to get better and better. And if you haven't signed up for the the MyScripts account, definitely do that because that's the way that we are communicating and offering appointments at this time. So once again, your health and safety are our number one priority at Scripps. If you haven't received the COVID-19 vaccine yet, we encourage you to get your vaccine wherever possible and as soon as possible. Appointments for the COVID-19 vaccine can be made through myscripts.org or by calling 858-554-7439. Dr. Shalada, thanks so much for being with us.